Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a couple pretty cool mods for Borderlands 2. Um, the first thing we've got to do is this, uh, just got a disclaimer that this is for Windows PCs only. This will not work for Macintosh and not work for uh, consoles either, obviously. And the first thing we'll need to do is we need to go ahead and download both the Java SDK and the Java Runtime Environments um, uh, files that we'll need. Now, a lot of you will probably already have both of these installed or one or the other, uh, but uh, the cover all basis, uh, it would be advised to have both of these installed. So um, I will have the links for both of the, uh, the Java files we'll need, the Borderlands Mod Manager, and both mods in the description below. So let's go ahead and uh, start things off with the Java Standard Development Kit. Okay, uh, the link I will send you to should take you to this page. And then you got two files that you need to uh, download. Uh, the first one here underneath this uh, yellow banner here. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on that. I'll go ahead and right click because um, I want to save the place here. But it will take you to this page for the development kit. Uh, go down just a little ways here and you'll see underneath Java SE development kit. Uh, you need to accept the license agreement otherwise you can't download the software. Now, in 2019, everybody should be running the 64-bit version of Windows. So you come down here to the bottom of this particular list and go ahead and click on the link and go ahead and save the file. And I'll just save it for um, uh, its own sake there. All right, after you have uh, downloaded that, let's go ahead and click on... Uh, come back to this one page here and click on the Java runtime environment button here and again I'll go ahead and right click myself to open a new tab now in the runtime environment here you got a couple lists here the bottom of these two lists is the more current version go ahead and click on accept the license agreement and then you're going to have two for the Windows 64-bit version here Click on the one that has the .exe at the end and not the tra.gz. So you go ahead and click on save on the file and save it wherever. Desktop would be fine because after you install both of these files, you can delete them. So we'll go and uh, we'll have both of them here. Uh, we downloaded the Java runtime environment and the, uh, the developer kit. Uh, go ahead and run the developer kit first. So you double click on that. Now I already have these installed, but it should be no harm in having these installed again. Go ahead and click on next, next, and let the development kit uh, do its thing. Now, the development kit may um, access the internet, so make sure you have internet access <coughs> when installing these. <coughs> Come on, I got an NVMe drive here. This should not take long at all. <coughs> then after that, click close, and you're done on that. Then go ahead and double-click on the JRE uh, file the Java runtime environment and we'll install that okay now if you want to change where you want to install it to that's perfectly fine just check mark that and go through the setup for that for everybody else uh, just go ahead and click on install and then click OK and then, as I said, uh, you want to have Internet access because Java may access the Internet for um, to install some parts of it. <laughs> if uh, you don't know what Java does in a nutshell, Java makes it easier for like uh, uh, web servers to... Uh, uh, function quickly and without as much load by offloading uh, some of the 
uh, the task handling to your own PC. Now, um, Java's you know safe. You know, don't have to worry about spyware or anything like that from the Java developer itself, a company called Oracle. But it helps web servers run faster and more efficient by allowing your computer to take care of some of its workload. Uh, that way you would have a, a faster, more efficient experience on websites. Now, there may be other things that Java does, and I'm fully ignorant if it does more than, you know, what I have just described. So, okay, uh, back to uh, uh, going on the website. Now, you want to click on the link for the Borderlands uh, Community uh, Mod Manager. If you're not a member of the Nexus community, go ahead and sign up. It is free and it is a requirement in order to download the uh, files. Now, once you have signed up, if you haven't already been a manager of the Nexus uh, community, go ahead and uh, type in Borderlands Community Mod Manager or, you know, go ahead and use the link I uh, have below in the description and I'll take you to this page. Scroll down a little bit and find these uh, row of tabs. Click on the Files tab. <clears throat> Click on Manual Download. And you'll get the pop-up and go ahead and save the file. Now, I've already saved the file. It'll save as a .exe file, so you won't have to unzip that. <clears throat> now, uh, the next thing you want to do is click on the next link for the... Uh, uh, Borderlands 2 unofficial community patch and you want to scroll down to where you have the tabs here click on the file tab for this page and click on manual download and save the file uh, this file will be in the zip format so you will need um, um, a program that will unzip uh, the file I recommend 7-zip if you got WinRAR, that works well as well, or WinZip for that matter. But 7-Zip is the best program to use for this, and the one that's supported by a lot of mod managers. Okay, after you've downloaded the unofficial community patch, then click on the last link, which will be the Borderlands 2 Reborn. Um, uh, it's kind of an overhaul mod, if anything. It'll change up the skill trees a bit and um, I can't remember whether it's the community patch that does this or the reborn patch and I think it's the reborn patch but it makes it to where you can get to the capstone of all three skill trees for your character because it lowers the skill point requirement from I think from 27 points down to 22 points for each skill tree to get the last and final skill of each skill tree. So at level 72, which is the uh, level cap for Borderlands 2 with all the uh, uh, DLC, you'll be able to get all three final skills. But uh, go ahead and scroll down if you need to to the tabs here. Click on the Files tab. Click on Manual Download. And of course, uh, save the file. Now for the... Uh, the Borderlands 2 Reborn and the unofficial community patch. Once you have downloaded those, unzip those files. Okay, now uh, we'll go ahead, go ahead and delete those while we're at it. But uh, then after that, we'll go to uh, where you uh, saved up the uh, uh, the files at. Right here, I've got the uh, Borderlands uh, 2 Mod Manager. And it's an EXE file, so you did not need to unzip it, or shouldn't have, unless they changed something since I downloaded this. But go ahead and double-click on that, and we'll go ahead and bring it up. Now, if you get in this window, just go ahead and click on Launch, and I'll bring it up. Now, since I've already installed the mods, you probably won't see everything here, uh, what you're seeing right here. And, in fact, um, you'll probably get... Um, uh, the installation, an installation screen. I can't quite remember, but if so, go through the motions to install. And then you should, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up since I've already installed it initially. You should get this screen to show up. 
Now, uh, on the right here, you got Borderlands to pre-sequel, and that's for if you're installing mods in the pre-sequel. I actually do not have that game yet. Waiting for it to come on sale. But here on the left side, uh, the Hex Edit Executable, you want to activate. I've already activated, so what you'll see is Revert, and then it'll say Installed. Uh, remove array rim uh, remove array limit make sure you go ahead and have that installed then the console key uh, go ahead and um, set it to what you want I set it to F11 and this is going to be important for the installation of the mods themselves down here you got performance boosting uh, tweaks uh, you can set those if you want uh, to your taste uh, these here just the requirements uh, make sure that hex edit executable is uh, activated installed remove array limit and a console key set it to something that uh, you're going to remember because uh, you're going to be activating that here in a bit go ahead and click OK and then the next thing you want to do and as I said you probably won't see all this here because I've already installed the mods myself but you want to click on file and you want to select import mod files now if you got them unzipped you're gonna find the txt files for um, what you're going to install this here is the patch file for the community patch and you want to go ahead and click open and then once you've done that it will show some text you know showing that you know you got the imp community patch that you imported and you see down here that I have that you know set up then go ahead and click on file select import mod files again and then select the blt reborn.txt file and then click open and then you will get more text I think this all up here is part of the text you'll see now once you got that um, installed onto the mod manager uh, every time you want to play Borderlands 2 you got to open up the mod manager and then just go ahead and minimize it now the last part uh, we got to do of this is actually open up Borderlands 2 and then go ahead and click on play And then after you go through the vanity screens, you know, the mod manager has an option for you to skip all that. Press the any key. <laughs> now, when you get to the menu screen, don't do anything else. This is where you got, um, where you set your console key, a uh, key. In my case, I've set it to F11. So what you want to do is hit your console key, whatever you set it to, in my case F11, and it'll bring up the console menu. Now, this also you have to do every time you start up Borderlands 2. Before you start Borderlands 2, you start up the mod manager and then go ahead and minimize it if you want. Then, also, when you get to the menu screen, you need to bring up the console, and you have to do this every time. It's kind of a you know, little bit of a nuisance, but I don't mind. I love the new gameplay features of the Community Patch and the Borderlands 2 Reborn overhaul mod, so it's worth it. But go ahead, and the first thing we want to do is activate the patch in the game. So enter in EXEC, then space, then as uh, the file is named, which in the patch case, it's a capital P, A-T-C-H dot T-X-T. Then hit enter. And you'll see some green text. It'll show running UCP 4.1. And that means the patch is active, um, successfully activated into the game. Now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, Borderlands 2 Reborn overhaul mod we will type in exec space 
and then enter in the file name for the uh, Borderlands 2 Reborn Overhaul mod, which will be BL2 and BL and BL will be in capital letters and then Reborn and R and Reborn will also be capitalized dot txt and then hit enter and it'll show more text and it'll show you know something like this and it'll show that you have successfully activated the Borderlands 2 Reborn patch in game. Now go ahead and the key that you use to activate the console mode to so go ahead and close the console and then you go ahead and play the game. In my case I will continue. Now when you open up your skill tree you should notice a difference from uh, the vanilla uh, Borderlands 2. You'll know you've successfully activated it. Now in the case of Maya's uh, skill tree, I've got Gage here, but uh, there was a skill uh, that was here called Helios and it got changed to Prometheus and put, you know, here instead of up here. But with Gage, um, there's some skills that got changed, different skill trees, uh, some uh, stat, uh, stat boost that got changed in the skills. And of course, um, with the, uh, the skill trees, instead of getting down to the final skill, which takes 27 skill points to do, it now only takes 22. So that way you can actually activate the final skills in all three skill trees for all your characters which is a bonus. All right, everyone, I hope this helps you out and hopefully adds even more replayability to Borderlands 2. I'm certainly getting a kick out of playing it again, and I'm playing on Gaged Mecromancer, and later on I'm going to try Maya as well. And then I'm going to probably go with um, Salvador the Gunzerker after that. But uh, I hope this helps you with um, enjoying Borderlands 2 with actually having mods installed, which uh, kind of was confusing for me back about a year ago trying to install said. But after that, I discovered how to do it and wanted to pass the knowledge on to you. All right, everyone. God bless you one and all, and take care.